Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. Uh, recently, I was experimenting a credit roll program and uh, it worked pretty well, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Let me show you the result first. Hmm. Yeah, so let's make this program. Okay, I just created this main class, so I haven't written anything. There's not much we can do here, so let's create a new class uh, from here. And I'm gonna name this uh, screen and finish. And this screen class extends JPanel and also implements action listener uh, import jpanel and also action listener and also action performed unimplemented method and the constructor screen Okay, here uh, let's create a window. Okay, so the window is done. And go back to this main class. So instantiate this screen class. Screen new screen hmm. okay. let's check this okay yeah so use the jframe and the size 800 600 and the uh, close operation and the uh, location relative to null so it displays at the center of the screen and also we added this class this screen class to this window so this screen class extends jpanel so yeah kind of like we just added the jpanel to this window and also set the visible so we can see this window now okay uh, then we're gonna create some class and variables a uh, first timer credit uh, timer or something and instantiate new timer and the speed is 20 and I have this and let's import this swing the timer this timer constructor accepts integer and also action listener so this action listener means this action listener and then uh, we're gonna make string and name this text uh, so integer I'm gonna name this text y. Okay, uh, that's everything. Okay, and the next, we're gonna make another method here. Uh, public void paint component, and we're gonna get this graphics class, g, and uh, Uh, pass this graphics to the super class then we're gonna change this graphics class to graphics 2d class uh, g2d call graphics 2d g and uh, g2d and the first set font uh, new uh, anything is fine but I'm gonna use this times new Roma and uh, font 
plane and font size is 28 then we're gonna set the uh, color font color in this case so set color uh, color white okay then uh, uh, let's draw some string draw string uh, hello or something so we and we're gonna specify x and y so I don't know 400 400 or some, something we can call this paint component method uh, by typing uh, the paint okay let's see oh, ah okay I forgot to change the background color of this J panel so uh, let's change this so this dot set background color dot black okay let's check this again yeah okay so we are seeing this string I think 400 400 and hello okay so then uh, yeah let's uh, let's type some uh, credit text so anywhere is fine but for example here so we're gonna use this text string so text uh, equal uh, congra oops congratulations uh, line break, line break. Okay, so we want to display this text on the screen. So, yeah, we can just type text here. And, uh, but yeah, let's see how it looks like. Yeah, but, uh, looks like this so the problem is so this graphics 2d class draw string method cannot recognize this line breaking code hard return code so we need to add some code so line breaks properly okay so here create integer y equal uh, we're gonna use this text y uh, text y and uh, also uh, let's uh, put some number into this text y yeah maybe here 400 and then we're gonna create for loop uh, string line text dot split uh, by this line breaking symbol so so what this means is uh, we're gonna split this text by this line breaking uh, symbol or code and get it line by line so we can display this text line by line so let's move this inside of this for loop and instead of this text we're gonna use this line and uh, x okay and uh, here we're gonna use this y and uh, also uh, y plus 28 so this is inside of this for loop so every time we display a line we're gonna add 28 to this y y position and this 28 is this font size okay let's check this uh, okay so uh, let's uh, change this to x 200 and also maybe I don't know 100 or something Mm, so like this okay so this looks better and 
and next we want to change the X alignment of this text so we want to display at the center of the line so uh, to do that inside of this for loop first integer and uh, name this string length equal int g2d dot get font matrix dot get string bounds line uh, context is uh, g2d and dot get width so we are using this g2d's uh, font matrix function or method and uh, we are getting the width of this line and get it as uh, as an integer and uh, create another integer and this time x equal uh, 800 this is the screen width uh, by 2 or you can just type 400 or also uh, you can if you want you can type like this get width uh, minus a string length by 2 and then instead of this 200 we're gonna use this x okay let's check this hmm okay hmm also maybe you've noticed but uh, these texts are not anti-aliased so for some reason so when you draw string by using this graphics 2d class you know text looks not so how to say like not so so the text looks kind of a rough if you think this text looks okay then it's okay but uh, this time we're gonna add anti-alias to this text and to do that so we're gonna change the settings of g2d a little bit and dot set rendering hint uh, first key is rendering hint dot key uh, uh, render render ring hints and the import and then we can choose some option here key text anti alias in this this one and the second one is uh, rendering hints that blue alpha text anti aliasing wait this one on so let's check the result okay so yeah i think this looks better and this is the old one and uh, this is anti-aliased text hmm. so either way it's fine so it's your preference okay so finally let's move this text so from bottom to top and uh, to do that we're gonna use this action performed method uh, so first okay let's move this repaint method to inside of this action performed and uh, here let's start this credit timer start And also, let's set this text y, uh, not a zero, uh, 600, because the height of this window is 600. So we're gonna start from here and uh, go up like this. And uh, okay, so now inside of this action performed. So every time this action performed gets called, text y minus minus then repaint 
So paint this again. So let's check this. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's working, but、uh, now I realized something. This is not Times New Roman, I think. Oh, Time as New Roman. Sorry. Times New Roman.、Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This looks better, I think. Okay, anyway, so this is working. But maybe we should stop this timer once you know all the text is displayed. So let's take care of that too. So when we stop this timer, so to check that, I think. So first, let's type.、Uh, let's check the、uh, text y. And、uh, start this again. So now. We can see this y position. So, this way we know the y position when all, all the text is displayed. So, let's see.、So、almost there. So, like 3 minus 360 or something. So,、uh, if text y minus maybe 400. Then、uh, credit timer dot stop.、Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So the timer stopped. Or just like I showed at the beginning. So if you want to stop the text at the, like a、uh, Thanks for playing, or something like that. Then、uh, you can also, yeah, you know, check this number, and、uh, you know, you can stop when, whenever you want. Let's add a little more、uh, line break around here, maybe, maybe, maybe like this. Okay, so minus like、uh, around here, so. Minus 220 or something. 220? I'm not really sure. And、uh, also for checking purpose,、uh, let's increase the timer speed a little bit. Okay, but、uh, we are still seeing this text, so、uh, let's add a little bit more line breaking. One, two, three, I don't know. How about it?、Mm, okay, I think.、Mm, maybe it should be a bit higher, but、uh, it's okay.、Mm. 320. Yeah, so. That's everything. So, I hope this was useful for you. And、uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And、uh, see you again. Bye.